this is what we are trying to achieve today let's get into blender and open a new file then select camera and press ctrl i to reverse the selection and delete everything else and go to file import uh, images plans and if you do not see that option then go to edit preferences and go to add-ons and search for images and enable the images planes add-on and make sure auto save preferences is turned on now go back to file and import images planes and select where you have kept the downloaded image of the lightning and whichever one you like just select that and click on import images as planes and now press 1 on the numpad to go to the front view if not then press 3 and zoom in to get the full view of the plane and then press ctrl alt 0 to set the current view as the camera view now select the camera and go to the camera settings and change the type from perspective to orthographic and change the orthographic scale now let's go to the output properties and change the resolution to something like 1024 by 1024 for an output of a 1k and if you want higher resolution uh, change the resolution accordingly and then we will have to change the orthographic scale of the camera again because we change the output uh, resolution so do that now let's split the view by hovering the mouse cursor over the upper left corner then left click and drag from there now go to rendered view and in the render properties uh, change the render engine to cycles if you are in EV. Now in one window open the shader editor and select our plane so the alpha is already connected and change the emission color from black to white or any other color if you want colorized lightning. Now select the image node and press ctrl T. If nothing happens that means we do not have node render enabled. So to do that I go to edit preferences add-on and search for node and enable node wrangler now back inside the editor press ctrl t this will add the texture coordinate and mapping node and set the maximum samples in viewport to something like 32 now back inside the editor we need a color ramp node so press shift a and click in search and type color and then select the color ramp and place the color ramp between the alpha channel and switch it from linear to constant then adjust the white and black handle in the color ramp until we only see the lightning You can add another handle in between for an uh, interesting look of the lightning and adjust its position like this. Also try to change the position of other handles in the color ramp as per your liking and keep an eye on the rendered image. Now let's add a separate XYZ node and connect the output from the mapping node to the XYZ node. Now let's duplicate the color ramp by pressing Shift D and connect the Y output of separate XYZ node to it and press Ctrl Shift and left click on the new color ramp to view its output. And let's remove one handle from this color ramp because we only need two for the next step. Now let's add a mix node and change the data type from vector to color and the blending mode from mix to multiply and connect the output of both color ramps to it and change the factor to 1. Now let's preview the output of this mix node by control shift and left clicking on it and adjust the white handle of the second color ramp to preview the lightning. Now go to frame 1 and adjust the white handle so that the lightning is barely visible.
Then place your mouse cursor over the position of white handle and press I. This will insert a keyframe to that position of white handle. Now go to frame 10 or 20 and adjust the white handle so that the whole lightning is visible. And press I over the position of white handle. Now let's preview the animation by pressing space or shift plus space. Also change the end keyframe to 20 or 30. Now let's duplicate the mix node and connect it to the first mix node and change the co second color to black. Let's preview this. Now if we change the factor of this new mix node, we will see that our lightning disappears and that's what we want for further animation. So go to frame 12 or 13 and set the factor to 0 and press I. And again go to frame 20 or 19 and change the factor to 1 and again press I. Now play back the animation to see how it looks. Finally connect the output of this mix node to the alpha and control shift and left click on the principal BSDF to preview our final texture. Now we are almost done. So in render properties go to film and enable transparent. And now you can change the emission color to whatever you want your lightning to be and change the emission strength if you want. Now in the output properties, select the file format to PNG and the color data to RGBA because we are exporting alpha channel also, so we need to select RGBA. Now press Ctrl F12 to render the animation. One more thing, it does not require too many samples in the render, so cancel the animation for now and go to render properties and under render you know, decrease the max samples to something like 8 or 16 and remove the noise now finally render the animation and now we can use this as image sequence of the animated lightning in any project that we want and it won't be heavy on memory too So that's it we are done i hope this turns out to be useful for some of you and if it does please let me know in the comments